everyone, my name is Simon, and today we are gonna do today we're gonna take a look at a game that I just played. It's going to be a first-person video on demand, a F F F P F I O D. I don't know. Um, it's going to be me playing as the Zerg player right here. My opponent for this game is going to be none other than Xion, the Terran player in the bottom left corner of Daybreak. So I just recorded this gameplay live. I played this game a few minutes ago. And uh, I'm going to do a voiceover right now just after the game so everything is still fresh in my head. But I just want to make sure you, that you don't hear the annoying clicking of my keyboard and me breathing in the microphone and like moaning and stuff because I can't make it and shit like that. So uh, I'm going to record this shortly after just so it's a little bit more relaxed. It's also a little bit easier to play uh, like that. So um, yeah, uh, this is going to be a Zerg vs Terran on Daybreak. Um, Daybreak of course known for it's uh, really easy to take second base. A relatively big map with some uh, destructible rocks in the center that make rushes a lot uh, harder to do. So um, in this game actually, well we're not gonna spoil it, no I'm not gonna spoil it. But because I just wanna keep talking about it, oh well. Right here you can see me actually switching along my drones. I actually want to have two drones on each mineral patch before I start stacking them up um, by themselves. I try to actually organize them myself the best I can because um, that will give you the extra little bit of income. If you don't do that actually, if you don't keep spamming the right click button uh, and selecting a drone, the drones will actually just look for a place themselves and if you have noticed it uh, ever, like they keep jumping around all the time. So right now, uh, since it's a Terran player, I know I'm pretty much 90% of the time completely safe for taking a second base. And here we go, I'm going to put down a hatchery at 15 uh, out of 15 of 18 supply. I'm gonna get uh, a spawning pool shortly after at 16 supply. And I'm gonna send both my, or my second, my first overlord actually went to the uh, base of my opponent and my second overlord will be parked at my natural. Um, as you could see there shortly. Uh, it's going to spot any incoming SCVs or maybe bar a barracks placement or anything cheesy. So there we go. 16 spawning pool going down. Um, as I already said. So right now I'm sending my overlord to the ramp right now. I want to see what the Terran is, is doing right now. And I see a relatively late barracks. Normally at the 3 minute and 5 second mark ish um, there will be the first marine out however there is no marine out at this point at all so right now i feel pretty safe and i know that he is going to go for a, a command center first and there we have it we already see the command center so i threw down my gas because i want to have the zerking speed up because right now i'm deciding to do the all-in once again that i already made a few videos about however i changed some stuff around i actually changed some stuff um, that made it just a little bit stronger because i've been losing to like um to like barracks wall-ins and stuff and right now going to make a little bit of a difference that's going to change a lot so instead of going with four zerklings what I normally would do I'm only going to get two zerklings and double queen instead I'm going to use those two zerklings to actually deny any kind of scouting later on uh, when my speed finishes and I'm gonna park them at his base to see how he's going to wall off and to see what he is going to be able to do against my all-in so I'm gonna use those two Zerglings to chase away the SCV already and I'm gonna park them right at this base, see what he is doing. He might be tacking up to some really early Hellions or he might be able to go for Mass Marine or whatever, so we wanna know that. However, right now we are at the 100 gas, so we are pulling off drones off gas right now, putting them in the main. I also made sure that I only have 16 drones mining in the main right now, so I actually have two drones per mineral patch, which will mine them most efficiently. So right now I got both uh, hatcheries rally to my natural and I'm gonna poke in a little bit with Zerglings see what's going on so right now I see the orbital command finished so he did some really quick orbital command gonna try and actually arrest a little bit just disturb a little bit of mining time to see two marines moving out so wanna try and save all my zerglings and actually manage to so I'm gonna go back to my base right now wait for my injects to finish there we go my injects are about to finish actually they are both finished right now so I'm gonna get two big rounds of drones right now so I'm at 42 out of 44 supply right now I'm gonna get my drones back into gas that I pulled off earlier I'm gonna add two more gases one at my main and one at my natural um, so I can actually get up all the stuff that I want because I want to go for an all-in but I wanted to make drones instead beforehand so right now I actually get my all my gases up gonna make another overlord and right about my when my gas is about to finish I'm actually gonna put down a roach worm because the roach worm will defend against any kind of stuff and I want to pump out about 10 roaches as soon as it finishes there we go gonna put down my roach worm about as my uh, second and third gas guys are about to finish and so right now I'm gonna make a clump of overlords because I want to make as many as I can however I do want to have 16 drones on minerals on each base so I'm gonna add them 
as you can see right there, checking how many drones I have in each base and actually adding accordingly. So that's what I did right there. I'm gonna poke my, with my Zerkling. My Zerkling just got the Zerkling speed, so I'm a lot safer to poke right now. I have to see what he's doing. Uh, so I need to make sure, and I see a lot of Marines right now. So I know uh, I will need to make a lot of Banelings and a lot of uh, Roaches to actually stop that, and it should be a game that I have. However, he didn't take his gases yet. Not his gas in his uh, natural, however. So I know I gotta be watching out a, lot, a little bit. Uh, actually lose one Zerkling, but that doesn't really matter. Um, however, this is going to be hard because I can't spot the... Uh, I can't spot the watchtower anymore, so right now I'm gonna rally all my roaches that I'm making. I'm making about 10 roaches to the uh, natural bay, or to my uh, natural watchtower rather. And I'm gonna put them right here. I actually wanna make sure that I don't lose all my roaches and I don't want him to see my roaches. So I'm gonna try and hide them the best I can. However, right now I'm gonna follow it up with zerklings because zerklings are much, much quicker. And I'm gonna morph all the zerklings that I'm going to be making in... Um, Bailings, but right now actually I see all his marines already moving out across the map and they're actually at my watchtower right now So I'm a little bit scared. I don't know at this point if he saw my roaches I think he saw about four, but he might have been just poking at my natural or at my watchtower However, I want to be uh, I want to make uh, sure that he isn't there anymore So what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and surround that if he is still there and if he isn't I will just be completely safe So there we go Actually sending one uh, link to my watchtower because I have to see if he is right there But he wasn't so I'm gonna right now rally everything for my natural and my main base to the second watchtower and all these zerklings are much quicker so I'm gonna morph them all into main links gonna wait for my roaches to come here and my new swell of zerklings there we go I got a big attack already incoming at 19 out of 100 supply and my opponent might have spotted something but I don't think he expects this many bane links and this many zerklings or roaches so right now I have a lot of bane links I don't know exactly how many I have but I got a lot of them I'm gonna use all of them to actually wall this of kill this wall off and what I'm going to be doing is just running them in and trying to kill all the marines that I can kill. I'm already killing three depots right here and all the depots are actually going to be able to give me so much of breathing room because he won't be anything to produce right now. Actually blowing up all my bailings on the SCVs right now. I'm not never sure if that's the correct idea to do but I'm going to try it anyway because if I actually don't manage to kill him with this attack I have a big advantage either way. So I'm gonna, what I'm going to be doing right now is actually try and kill this off. So I'm gonna morph a few Banelings in his natural to wall off his deep or kill off his depot that he has in his main. Gonna keep making Zerkling as well as a, uh, as a uh, macro hatchery a little bit earlier in my main base because I need the main base um, to actually do this. So right now I'm gonna wall in and kill all the depots with my drones or uh, with my Zerklings and my Banelings and my Roaches. And right now it's pretty much GG. I'm in his base already and I got a lot of stuff incoming and that's actually it. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Let's check out really quickly actually what rank this guy was. Uh, I want to see what level he's at at this uh, moment. And let's see... Yeah, there we go. He's actually a 1200 point uh, Terran player. Also a pretty high ranked Terran player. However, I want to thank you all for watching. Click the screen right now and it will take you to the next game that will be up on my YouTube channel shortly. I want to thank you all for watching and hope you have a great day guys. Bye!